Am I awake? Am I prepared? Are you listening to my prayer? Can you hear my voice? Can you understand? Am I awake? Am I prepared? Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Ya la la Am I awake? Am I prepared? Are you listening to my prayer? Can you hear my voice? Can you understand? Am I awake? Am I prepared? 
Shabbat Shalom. Okay, let's start again. Shabbat, Shabbat. Shalom. Shalom. And if you put it together, it's Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Beautiful. Ah, that was much better. Thanks, Rabbi. Folks, I am Rabbi Ilana Nematov Bressler. I am joined by Rabbi Zach Pleasant. We have Mike on the keys over here, and we have Sean in the back. We are so glad you are here to celebrate Lexi Davis becoming bat mitzvah today. We'll ask, I'm going to ask everyone to take their phones out. Now I'm going to ask you to turn it off. I promise you'll be okay for the next hour and a half. There is nothing more important than experiencing this there's a, there's a photographer, it will be recorded. You can get all the pictures off the live stream if you want. But for this, we ask you to be as present as you can be. You will not need your cell phones. We have, uh, as you came in, you got a prayer book. Our prayer book is called Mishkan Tefillah. It's this blue book. We'll tell you where we are in the service and you can follow along with us. Hebrew is read from right to left. So the prayer book opens on the right, not on the left. And just to confuse you more, we have another blue book that's in the seat in front of you that says Torah on the front. We'll use that about partway through the service when Lexi starts reading the Torah, but otherwise you're generally going to need the smaller book that says Mishkan Tefillah on it. We are so glad to pray with you today, to be here today, and most importantly, to celebrate Lexi. To do that, we are going to start, we are going to continue on page 218 with Psalm 150. Psalm 150 is the final psalm in our book of psalms, and there's one word that is like an anchoring word that we can all come back to. I'll teach you that one word right now. Hallelujah. Let's try that again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amazing. So this one word we can come back to over and over again. Let's bring as much joy, as much sound into this room as we can as we celebrate together on this special night. Hallelujah, 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 we're gonna do that again. Show. 
We're going to invite you up here with your parents, and you're going to perform the first act of many of becoming bat mitzvah today. You are going to say the blessing over the talit and then put it on yourself so that for years to come, you can do this for yourself. Turn it around. Adonai, Brochat Adonai, Elohini Melcha Alam, Asher Kachana Bimitsvitav, Vitsivanu, Latita Tev Patsitsi. Amen. We turn to page 146 and rise for Barhu. La 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 page 149 at the top of the page. Mm-hmm. Praise to you, Adonai our God, from whom the evening flows. Your wisdom sets the way on which time and season glide. Your breath guides the sail of the stars. Creator of the tide of time and light, you guide the current of day into night. As heaven spans into infinity, you set each course for eternity. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Brochat ta Adonai hama'ariv aravim. We turn to page 150 and pray together in English. Everlasting love, you offered your people Israel by teaching us Torah and mitzvot, laws and precepts. Therefore, Adonai, our God, when we lie down and when we rise up, we will meditate on your laws and your commandments. We will rejoice in your Torah forever. Day and night we will reflect on them, for they are our life, and doing them lengthens our days. Never remove your love from us. Praise to you, Adonai, who loves your people Israel. Baruch atah Adonai, Ohev amo Yisrael. 
we turn to page 152 for the Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kevod Malchus Ho Leolam Ha'el Please join with me on page 154. Ve'ahavta Eitz Adonai Elohecha Bechol Levavcha Ubechol Nashecha Ubechol Meodecha Vehayu Hadvarim Ha'ele Asher Hanochi Mitzavecha Hayom Alevavecha Veshinan Tam Levanecha Vedibarta Bam Veshivtecha Bebeitecha Uvlechtecha v'aderech, u'shochtecha u'kumecha, u'ksharetam le'ot al yadecha, v'hayu le'totafot b'in e'necha, u'chtabtam al mezuzot b'etecha, u'visharecha. Leman tizkeru v'asitem et tol mitotai, v'yitem kiroshim l'elohechem. Ani Adonai Eloheichem, Asher hotzei tiyatchem, Meyeres Mitzrayim, Lihiot lachem l'Elohim. Ani Adonai Eloheichem. Please turn to page 157. We read responsibly. In a world torn by violence and pain, a world far from wholeness and peace. Give us the courage to say Adonai. There is one God in heaven and earth. The high heavens declare your glory. May earth reveal your justice and love. From bondage in Egypt, we were delivered. At Sinai, we bound ourselves to your way. Inspired by prophets and, and instructed, instructed by sages, time, time and, and again, again we overcame oppressive forces. Though our failings are many and our faults are great, it has been our glory to bear witness to our God, keeping alive in dark ages, your vision of a world redeemed. Let, Let us continue, continue to work, work for the day when, when the nations will be one and at peace. Then shall we rejoice as Israel did, singing on the shores of the sea. We turn to page 158 in our Song of Freedom. On page 164, you'll find the beginning of the Amidah. The Amidah is our standing prayer, and something that about Lexi that stands out to me is, Lexi, how important it is that you remember where we come from. You ask so many questions about, well, what about them? Or do they matter? Or what do we think about these people, too? And the Amidah, and specifically our first prayer in the Amidah, evokes our most ancient ancestors. And so in a way, Lexi, all of your questions come right back to today because you're bringing all of those people, we're bringing them all together with us. And the Amidah is a reminder that we come from a chain of people from generations back. 
And today, you are becoming one more link in that train as you stand here and become bat mitzvah. So we rise as we join together in our Amidah on page 164. Adonai, sefer taitivta, ufi agita hilatecha. Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. 166. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohe Avotinu Vimoteinu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov. Elohe Sara, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leia, Ha El Hagadol Hagibor Bahanora, El El Yon, Gomel Hasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Vizoher Haste Avot Behimahot, Umege Gula Livne Vnehem, Lema Anshemo Beahava. Melech Ozer, Umashia, Umagain. Baruch Ata Adonai, Magin Abraham, Bezrat Sarah. 168. Ata Gibor Leolam Adonai, Mechaye HaKol Ata Rav Lehoshia, Mori Ata. Mechaye Chaim Bechesed, Mechaye HaKol Berachamim Rabim. So mech no flim verofe holim, umasir asurim, umekayem emunato, lishene afar, micha mocha baal givurot, umido melach, melech memit, umekaye, umas miach yeshua, beneeman atala hachayot hakol. Baruch atah Adonai, mechayei hakol. 170. Atah kadosh, v'shimcha kadosh, v'kiroshim b'chol yom yihalelu hasela. Baruch atah Adonai, ha'el hakadosh. We turn to page 172 at the bottom. Our God and God of our ancestors, be pleased with our rest. Sanctify us with your mitzvot and grant us a share in your Torah. Satisfy us with your goodness and gladden us with your salvation. Purify our hearts to serve you in truth. In your gracious love, Adonai our God, grant our heritage, your holy Shabbat, that Israel who sanctifies your name may rest on it. Praise to you, Adonai, who sanctifies Shabbat. Baruch Adonai, Mekadesh HaShabbat. We join in our prayer of peace, Oshe Shalom, on page 180. you a gift. We don't often get to sit in quiet, so I'm going to invite you to close your books. You can stay standing or you can be seated as you're comfortable and take a few moments for your own personal reflection.
we turn now to our Torah service. At this point, I'll invite Deborah Landis, David Davis, and Elizabeth Miller up to open our ark. And I invite everyone to rise as we take our Torah from the ark. I invite Lexi, her parents, and her grandparents up here. down from generation to generation. Its words are what we hold most dear, and it is what we continue to learn about. You love to ask questions about it, so I'm not worried about you continuing to learn from it. But you have the opportunity to hand it down from generation to generation, to hand, get it handed down to you, and then be the next line, the next one to hand it down. Door by door, Nagi Dor Lecha. Le door by door, we protect this chain from generation to generation. Le door by door, these lips will praise your name. Le door by door, Nagi. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Echad Eloheinu, Gadol Adonainu, Kadosh Shemo. Hallelujah, 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 Lexi is going to read for us from the last Torah portion in our Torah. So throughout the year, we read from our Torah, and right after Yom Kippur, we finish our Torah, and we have another holiday called Simchat Torah. So Lexi has the last Torah portion before Simchat Torah, before we start the Torah over again. And Lexi has the honor of learning. We've ta I've talked a lot about generations. She's learning some more about some generations. We're learning about the 12 tribes of, Lexi, who are the 12 tribes of who? Oh, Jacob. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know this. The 12 tribes of Jacob. And so <laughs> Moses is telling them a little bit 
about what to expect, what's happening next before they go into the land. Lexi's going to tell you more about that, so I won't steal too much of her thunder. But if you want to follow along with her, she is, I don't know what, I don't have the right page. So whoever can find Bezot Habracha first. It's toward the end. It's definitely towards the end. <laughs> I mean, I was too. If you want to follow along, you can find it on page 1420 in, in the Torah book, page 1420. You can follow along with her. And you ready? Great. For our first Aliyah, we'd like to invite up Lexi's grandparents, Sandra, Judith, and Alan. Ya Amdul Aliyah La Torah. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam. Asher Bacharbanu Mikol Hamim Venatan Lanu Et Torato. Baruch Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. Bezot Habracha Asher. Beirach Moshe, Isha Elohim, et Benei Israel, Lifnei Moto, Bayomar, Adonai, Misinai Ba, Vezorach, Miseir, Lamo, Hophia, Mehar, Haran, Vata, Mary Vevot, Kodesh, Mimino, Esha, Lamo, Af, Hoveve Amim, Kol Kedoshav, Veadecha, Vehem, Tuku, Leraglecha, Yisa, Medabrotecha. Baruch Achad Anoi, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Asher Natan Lanu Tarat Emet, Bachaye Olam Natabatuhinu, Baruch Achad Anoi, Noten Hatara. Amen. For our second Aliyah, Lexi's sisters. Cassandra and Suzanne. Baruchu et Adonai Hamvara. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Adonai Hamvara Leolam Vaed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Hamim. Venantan lanu et torato, Baruch ata Adonai, notin ha Torah. Amen. Torah, Sivala anu, Moshe, Morasha, Kahila, Yaakov, Vayahi, Fisharun, Melech, Vahita save, Rashe, Am, Yahad, Sivte, Yisrael, Yahi, Reuven, Veal, Yamot, Vayahi, Metav, Mispar. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Natan Lanu Torat Emet, Vehaye Olam Nata Bitochinu, Baruch Ata Adonai, Notin HaTorah. Amen. For our third Aliyah, Lexi's parents, Cheryl and Richard. 
יעמדו לעלייה לתורה. ברכו אל אדוני המבורך, ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד. ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד, ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר בחרבנו מכל העמים, ונתן לנו את תורתו, ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. אמן. ויאמר שמע אדוני כל יחודה ואל עמו תביאנו ידיו רב לו ועזר מצריו תהיה ולוי אמר תומך ואורך לאיש חסידך אשר ניסיתו במסע תריבהו עמי מריבה האומר לאביו ולאמו לא ראיתיו ואת את חב לא הכיר ואת בניו לא ידע כי שמרו אמרתך ותורתך ינסורו ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת, וכי אלוהים נתן בתוכנו, ברוך אתה אדוני, נותן התורה. סורקסי, הפורת עלייה היא שלך עלייה. where you're going to say the blessing before you read Torah. Um, we discussed this. You have already chanted Torah so beautifully. You've already led us in worship so beautifully. You're going to teach us. You're going to all of these things. But this moment, right now, when you officially say these blessings, when you are called to the Torah as for an aliyah, that is the exact moment that you become bat mitzvah. And so you, this, there's a special chant, a special musical chant that I will call you for the first time by your Hebrew name, to the Torah, and then you will read the blessings, and that will be the moment that you become Bat Mitzvah. Ta'amod, 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 Aliza Bar Rachman Va'ahuva Bat HaMitzvah, Chizki, Chizki. Baruch Adonai Hamvorah, Baruch Adonai Hamvorah Le'olam Va'ed, ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד, ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר בחר בנו מכל העמים, ונתן לנו את תורתו, ברוך אתה אדוני, נותן התורה. אמן. יורו משפטיך ליעקב ותורתך לישראל יסימו כתורת ויפך וחליל על מזבחך. ברך אדוני הלו ופועל ידע תרסי מחץ מתניים כמיו ומשניו מן יקומון. לוין ימין אמר ידיד אדוני ישכון לבטח עליו הופן עליו כה היום ובין כתפיו שכן. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת, וחיי עולם נתע בדוהינו, ברוך אתה אדוני, נותן התורה. אמן. You did do it. Good job. <laughs> Once Torah has been read, we lift it high for all to see. I'll invite everyone to rise.
You may be seated. This is going to be next, but Lexi, before you um, read this, I want to say two things. So this is a very, very special Shabbat in the history of Temple Israel. Um, If you were here last night at Shabbat, Rabbi Friedman talked about it a little bit, but we as a clergy team, as a Temple Israel community, have completely changed what Haftarah looks like. If you belong to another synagogue or you had a a B'nai Mitzvah at another synagogue, your Haftarah is something that is assigned to you. You are assigned a Torah portion like Vizot HaBracha, and then you're assigned a Haftarah portion. We've decided to sort of change all of that and give our B'nai Mitzvah students a little bit of autonomy and choice um, as they become adults in the Jewish world. And so um, about six months ago, we had a program where um, we, explained, we taught about many of the prophets, um, and we had... Um, a number of options. We, we sort of whittled it down to the greatest hits of the prophets, um, and Lexi got to choose which section of Haftarah she was going to read. Lexi is the first person, this is the first Shabbat, where we're implementing this new system. So we had two Benot Mitzvah this morning, and Lexi this afternoon, this evening. Today is the very, very first day that we're doing this, so I, as a rabbi, I am just overjoyed to see this come to fruition. And Lexi's going to talk a little bit about why she chose what she chose, because even the very, very first workshop that we ever did, Lexi actually pushed wait, 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 me... I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> ...to go even further. Go ahead. No, I'll talk about it after. Okay. So, while choosing my half to our portion... I knew that I wanted something that had to do with female empowerment. I grew up in a house full of girls, and I always was supported in everything I did, and my parents and sisters always told me I could be anything I wanted to be. I was given the privilege to choose my Haftarah portion, and though I was grateful for it, my options were very limited. And by limited, I mean there were only male prophets. My initial question was, why are there no female prophets? And while it turns out that there were some, they were not emphasized as much as the men. Since that initial thought, I was determined to find a portion by a female prophet that resonated with me. The prophet I chose was Deborah. She was a woman who took charge. Growing up, my sisters and parents always told me I could be anything I put my mind to, regardless of my gender. And I'm so honored to share just a little bit of Deborah's story with you all. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam, Asher, Bahar, Bin Vim, Tovim, Verasa, Fidivrahem, Ha and Amarim, Behemet, Baruch Ata, Adonai, Chaboher, Batora, Uvoshe, Abdo, Uvisrael, Amo, Uvin Vie, Ha emet, Vatsedek. Urvora Isha Nevio Ashet Lapidot He Shofta Et Yisrael La Et Hahi Vehi Yoshevet Tahato Mer Devora Bain Harama Uvain Bait El Bechar Ephraim Vayalu Elecha Vene Yisrael Lamishpat Vatishla Vatigra Levarak Bain Avinoam Mikadesh Naphtali Vatomer Elav Halo Siva Adonai Elohe Yisrael Lauch Umoshata Vehar Tavor Velakata Imcha Aseret Alafim Ish Mivne Naftali Umivne Zevulun Deborah, wife of Lapidot, was a prophetess. She led Israel at that time. She used to sit under the palm of Deborah between Ramah and Bethel in the hill country of Ephraim, and the Israelites would come to her for decisions. 
she summoned Barak, son of Abinoam, of Kadesh in Naphtali, and said to him, Adonai, the God of Israel, has commanded, Go, march up to Mount Tabor, and take with you 10,000 men of Naphtali and Zebulun. And I will draw Sisera, Yabin's army commander, with his chariots and his troops, toward you to the Wadi Kishon, and I will deliver him into your hands. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melcha Ulam Sor Koha Ulamim Sadik Beho Hadaro Ha El Hne Eman Ha Umer Veose Ham de Bear Umkayim Shehol de Ra and Medvat Sedek Al Hatora the Al Haovo Da the Al Han Vim the Al Yom Hashabat Haze Shenetatalanu Adonai Eloheinu Lik to Shavlim Nucha, Lechavod, Ulti Faret, Al Hako, Adonai Elohenu, Anach Numodim La, Umbarhim Ota, Yitbra, Shimcha, the Fiko Hai, Tami, the Ulamva Ed, Barucha, Ta Adonai, Mekadesh, Hashabat. Amen. Lexi. You, you, I've been pausing. Take, take a deep breath. breath. First, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Lexi. You've done all your Hebrew. <laughs> you have, we ask you to do three things. You're good. We ask you to do three things when we come bat mitzvah. We ask you to be our shlichat zibor, our prayer leader. You've done it beautifully. We ask you to be our baalat kore, our Torah reader. You did that wonderfully. And last, we ask you to be our darshanit, our teacher. You have written a wonderful Devar Torah, and now we have a chance to learn from you. Just you have taught me and Rabbi Pleasant for the last few months, and as long as we've known you, and now everyone here also knows that you're a wonderful teacher, and we'll get to learn from you as well. So Habracha is the last Torah portion in the five books of Moses. Moses is standing on the edge of Israel, looking in with the 12 tribes and all of their descendants. He knows he is not getting in, but wants to make sure he is leaving the Hebrews with the best advice possible so they can survive. He want, also wants to ensure they are ready to build a nation in the land God has given them. As Moses' last act before he hands over leadership to Joshua, he blesses the 12 tribes as they prepare to enter the land of Israel. Interestingly enough, this brings the story of the 12 tribes full circle. Near the end of Genesis, Jacob gives blessings to his 12 sons who became the 12 tribes. And then at the end of Deuteronomy and the Zot Habercha, the last book of Moses and the last Torah portion respectively, the Torah comes full circle and ends the way the first book ended. Jacob is about to die, and he gives blessings to his 12 sons. And when Moses is about to die, he gives blessings to the 12 tribes. Moses' blessings have the same tone as Jacob's in Genesis. Just like Jacob's sons, some tribes get negative blessings, and some get positive ones. Moses essentially says to some, This is what I've noticed, and you need to change before bad consequences happen. For example, what Moses said to the tribe of Dan meant that they attacked too much and were too aggressive. To others, he says, you're great and will amount to great things. For example, in his blessing to the tribe of Joseph, Moses essentially says, I have blessed you with great agriculture. Your plants will grow and you will always have a good harvest. You are forceful among your brothers and persuasive in getting what you want. This is similar to Jacob's blessing to Joseph when he called him the prince among his brothers. When Moses was blessing the tribes, the real question is, why did he say what he did? Was it simply to draw a full circle from Jacob's blessings? He could have given them guidance and specifically told them what to do and what not to do. But instead, he either told them, you did good, good will come to you. Or, you did bad, bad will come to you. Change your ways before bad comes. Essentially, what goes around comes around. Moses wants to be remembered positively, and maybe he wanted the tribes to feel close, maybe even personal connection to him, after he died. Obviously, 
There were many people in each tribe, and Moses was not close with all of them, but his legacy was important to him. I think Moses approached the blessing the wrong way. If this blessing were to be given in the present day, I personally think he should have given the Hebrews more encouragement and might have said, you're going to do great, or I want you to do your best, instead of saying how some are good and some are bad. When telling people they are good or bad, often more harm than good can come. If you tell people how great they are, most likely they will become arrogant, and the people who got blessings about how great they are probably went into the promised land too confident. Much of the conclusion of the Torah teaches about change. The Israelites are losing Moses. They are finishing a journey and going to a new land. They now have to make their own decisions. All huge changes. I've learned that new beginnings can be really scary, but also help you gain more perspective. All of us here in this community today are often starting and ending things. For some of us, it might be a sibling or child leaving for college. For others, it might be mourning the loss of a friend or family member. For me, when both my sisters left for college, I went from being the youngest of three to basically an only child. I had to accept that I no longer had my sisters to lean on. My perspective changed. My Torah portion matters to me because as of today, I am a bat mitzvah. As the Hebrews were crossing into Israel, I am crossing into adulthood. And as the Hebrews didn't have Moses as a cushion when they fall, I no longer have my parents to take accountability for all of my Jewish actions. Like the Israelites probably felt, I feel nervous about starting my ascent into adulthood. The Israelites were probably nervous because Moses had a direct connection to God. And without Moses, the Israelites no longer have this connection. Similarly, like the Israelites who had Moses making every decision for them up until this point, I no longer have my parents making all my decisions for me. Freedom cannot pros and cons. I now have to take accountability when I do something wrong, but I also get to make more of my own choices. But unlike the Israelites, I'm, or like the Israelites, I am excited to begin this new chapter in my life. There are so many opportunities ahead of me if I make the right choices and take advantage of them. Unlike the Israelites, I am not alone on this journey. I still have my family and friends to guide me, especially all of you here today. I'm so thankful for all of your support and guidance that have led me to today and will lead me for the rest of my life. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Yeah, you can sit. Lexi. Now I'm going to talk at you, so you can't, you can't ask more questions. Sorry. You read for us from the end of the Torah, and it's the end of the cycle of reading Torah, as I said before, which is also the beginning of something new, which you told us about so beautifully. And today marks something even more special. It's the moment where your Jewish voice is equal to that of every other Jew. I'm going to talk to you, but I'm going to look at them. Okay? When Rabbi Pleasant and I met with Lexi, for the Hoftor workshop, she was excited and engaged. But unsurprisingly, to those of you who know Lexi, she pushed back against us hard. She said, I won't do it if it's a man. You're not letting... So what happened was she wanted to do what comes directly after her Torah portion, which is Joshua, and it's kind of boring. So we pushed her and said, think about something else that you might want to talk about. She said, I want a woman. And so we said, after some discussion, we said, why don't you talk about Devorah in the book of Judges and how powerful she is? Lexi, you are so much like Devorah. Since I met you, you have always asked questions, sometimes when other people are ready to hear them and sometimes when they're not. And you have always pushed back when something doesn't make sense. But really, you just like to ask questions, and you ask them really quickly. Your voice has always been strong and significant. You know the value of your voice, of speaking up for what you want and what you need, just like Devorah. As you told us, Lexi, the Torah ends with Moses giving advice to each tribe. Some of it's good advice, and some is lacking in its positive spin. You taught us beautifully. I'd like to offer 
my own spin on who we didn't hear from or hear about. We didn't hear from Miriam. She's Moses' sister, and she died in the wilderness while they were wandering. We didn't hear her voice at the end. We don't hear about the women of the tribes, those who took care of procreation, feeding, and clothing their partners. We didn't hear of the children who looked up to their mothers, who knew nothing but wandering and entered the promised land with fear and hope in their eyes. These women and girls are the ones who we didn't hear from today or in Lexi's Torah portion, but they're the ones to whom you, Lexi, speak today and every day moving forward. For they are the ones you need to, they are the ones who need to hear your promise of hope, of standing up and asking good questions. And they're the ones who need to hear the message of being open to change and newness. They will benefit from your courage and your poise. The prophet Devorah came many years after the Hebrews crossed into the land of Israel. She was strong, courageous, and poised. She knew her mind and made sure other people did. And she stood up for Yael when Yael wasn't so sure what to do. Sounds a little like you. Lexi, my blessing for you today is that you be like Devorah. Sing your song out loud and be strong and brave to share your voice and speak for other people whose voices are not heard. Advocate for what you need and support other women as they act with courage and strength. Most importantly, uphold those values that you hold most important, asking questions, being strong and intelligent, and being kind. Lexi Devorah sings of the rise of a mother in Israel. You have the opportunity to be just like her, and Rabbi Pleasant and I cannot wait to see what comes next for you in the Jewish world. We are so proud of you today. And at this time, we want to offer you the oldest blessing in Judaism. We want to offer it to you before the ark. It is the priestly blessing. It comes from the book of Numbers. And we cannot, we're so proud to be able to offer it to you. We're going to invite everyone to rise as we open our ark. Yivarech Adonai ve'yishmerecha. May God, may God bless you and keep you, Lexi. Yaher Adonai panav elecha ve'yichunecha. May the glory of God shine upon you and be with you. Yisa Adonai panav elecha Riasem lecha shalom, shalom. Lexi, may God walk with you and be with you and give you all of life's blessings, those of courage, those of strength, those of kindness, but most of all, that of shalom, of peace. We say amen. We turn now to Shehechianu and we say how wonderful it is that we reach this moment together. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Shehechianu v'kimanu v'higianu v'azman hazeh standing, and we turn to page 586 for Aleinu. Aleinu l'shameach la'adon ha'kol, la'tet gedula le'otzeher breshit, sh'lo asanu k'goye ha'aratzot, ve'lo samanu k'mishpechot ha'adama, sh'lo sam chalkenu kahem, Vegoralinu kechol hamonam, 
It is a fearful thing to love what death can touch, a fearful thing to love, hope, dream, to be, to be, and oh, to lose. A thing for fools, this, and a holy thing, a holy thing to love. For your life has lived in me, your laugh once lifted me, your word was gift to me. To remember this brings a painful joy, tis a human thing, love, a holy thing, to love what death has touched. At the end of every service, we come to memory, and we remember those who are not with us. If there's someone who you'd like to bring into our space whose memory you're thinking of, I invite you to share their name aloud at this point. We hold all of them in our memory. We turn to page 598 and rise as a community to recite Kaddish. Yit gadal v'yit kadash shemei rabba be'alma divra chirutei v'yamlich malchutei v'chayachon uv'yomechon uv'chayei d'chol beit Yisrael Ba'agala ubizman kariv imru, amen. Yehe sheme raba mevarach leolam ome o maya. Yit barach vish tabach vit paar vit ramam vit nase. Vit hadar vit ale vit halal sheme de kudashab rihu. Leela min kol birchata vishirata. Tush bechata venechamata. Da amiram beama vi imru, amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya, Vechayim Aleinu Ve'al Kol Yisrael, Ve'imru, Amen. Ose Shalom Mimromav, Hu Ya Ase Shalom, Aleinu Ve'al Kol Yisrael, Ve'imru, Amen. May the source of peace and peace to all who mourn and comfort to all who are bereaved, as together we say, Amen. Ose Shalom Mimromav, Please be seated. Lexi, come on up here. We have some gifts for you. So before the service, I know Rabbi Pleasant said to pretend you hadn't seen it, but I'm going to kill the surprise. Before the service, Lexi signed the certificate saying she indeed did all the work to get to this moment, and then she's really the one up here. So Lexi, mazel tov, we are so proud of you. And also on behalf of our community, we'd like to offer you your own Kiddush cup so that whenever you celebrate Shabbat, you can use this and it is your own so that Shabbat becomes yours, whatever Shabbat means in your house. So this is for you. Now, Lexi, you've been a blessing to us for about the last hour and 10 minutes. You've been a blessing to your parents your entire life. Should we let them give you a blessing? Okay, we're going to invite them up. Yeah. Take a breath. My little Lexi, 
This night is priceless for Dad, Cassie, Susie, and I. You were a star in the Bema. You gave nothing less than your very best. Congratulations on becoming a bat mitzvah. You were con committed to your Hebrew lessons. There were definitely some odd places that you learned your half Torah, like zooming with Harriet while being pushed in a basket in the yarn aisle at Michael's. You always said to your friends, if I have to learn this, then so do you. They all had to listen each week to you belting out your Hebrew. Ultimately, what I want you to feel as you look around tonight is that you will always have the support of your family and your friends throughout your journey. They will be there to hold you up when life gets rough, and they will be there to help you make lemonade out of many lemons. Our wise and very missed and beloved Juju once said, Never take anyone or anything for granted. Remind yourself each day how lucky you are. Find the good in people and be happy with what you have. When you were little, you had to quickly find your voice, making sure that you were heard in the middle of sisters Cassie and Susie. Being almost 11 years and eight years younger, you demanded to be the center of attention when their friends were over, whether it was with all of your silly faces or just your all-around cuteness. Moving from Scarsdale during COVID and starting sixth grade in Weston Middle was no easy task. But you found your groove and you've made incredible friendships. Life at the party, funny, extremely loud, and sometimes bossy. You have filled our lives with so much laughter, love, and a whole lot of mishigas. Over the past year, I have witnessed firsthand the transformation of a tween in an incredible young woman. Your commitment and intensity is displayed in all aspects of your life, whether it's with your friendships, your academic studies, playing basketball, skiing, or crew. You continue to demonstrate all of the core values that our family has instilled in you, which is determination, commitment, solid work ethic, love, and a huge zest for life. We love your curiosity and thirst for knowledge. Keep asking challenging questions and keep on seeking answers from those around you. Surround yourself with kind and supportive people who, will gain, who you will gain knowledge from and who will continue to bring out the very best in you. Aim to be the very best version of yourself. Life is not perfect, but if you put your best foot forward, you will always come out on top. Inner beauty is really the best kept secret. You have this inner beauty. Let it sparkle and shine and show the world. I love you. No, we're going to keep you up here, actually. We're going to invite your sisters up. Uh, <laughs> um, we have tissues up here. Yeah. You, why don't you do a big family hug first? And now we're going to invite you over to this glass table. We're going to join together in Havdalah, our separation between Shabbat and the rest of the week. Uh, it is on page 612 if you want to follow along with us.
Shavua Tov, may it be a good week, and we sing Simen Tov, Mazel Tov, to celebrate Lexi and her entire family. Simen Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, Simen Tov, Simen Tov, Thank you. 